Hi, it's Zobble1975, and today I'm bringing you an Elite Dangerous video on Xbox One. And it's really a simple video today. I just really want to ask what you guys are going to do now Horizons... Uh, Horizons? <laughs> Beyond Part 4 is with us. Uh, so now the last of the Beyond series has dropped. What do you plan to do with that new shiny update? What is the first thing you're going to take advantage of? Are you going to buy the new ships? Are you, you know, going to go somewhere specific? Me, I'm going to head out exploring in my Diamondback Explorer and look for some of those lovely new spatial anomalies and see if I can get myself lost in some gas clouds, uh, go a bit space mad and come back in a couple of weeks um, and get mowed down probably by somebody in a really, you know, overpowered, over-engineered phantom. Uh, you never know. But anyway, I am planning to go exploring in my Diamondback Explorer out into the wilds uh, which is something I've been meaning to do for ages but I've been putting off for ages as well so I'm gonna try and get that elite explorer rank but what are you guys gonna do come on I'm throwing it open to you please let me know in the comments down below what you've got planned for the update release what have you got planned uh, going forward I think well I'd like to know your guys opinions of this as well I personally think this update has the potential to bring back a lot of players that have um, fallen away from the game to give them something new and interesting to interact with and do um, but I'd love to know your feelings about that I'm very very interested to see how Squadrons plays out live on Xbox I am still disappointed that we don't get any sort of testing before it comes out on Xbox um, I always you know Pokey always used to say to me that he didn't even believe FDev owned an Xbox um, because the lack of testing on Xbox before an update drops and um, how we're constantly just sat there sort of like waiting for the glitches and bugs to make themselves known um, it's always a bit of a clusterfuck after an update and I am expecting a few comments cheeky comments saying that they're gonna be looking for uh, the cache glitch because there probably will be one there always is after these big updates there's always something on Xbox where FDev go oh that was unintentional you shouldn't have been making money from that <laughs> you know there is always something of that nature that we we have and some of us take advantage of some of us don't uh, last time it was certain wing missions that paid ridiculous money and yeah I did do a few of them I basically did them so I could share them with other commanders um, you know but they were high paying wing missions which to be fair is rare because normally wing missions are shit um, I recently did a wing mission with a noob um, I did it with him because he got him 7 million credits I actually did the entire wing mission and I got 7 million credits the only thing is it cost me 8.5 million credits to buy the performance enhancers to complete the mission so I don't know if those missions were bugged last time or whether they actually were paying out sensible amounts of money because wing missions quite often don't pay out sensible amounts of money. But anyway, that's enough of that rant. Let me know in the comments what you're doing, and that's all. Thank you very much for watching.